Calling any convoy Talon Alpha 5 survivors. Come in, all survivors. Tracking an active training corvette. What is your status? Recruit. Wake up and respond. Damn it. Recruit, do you remember anything from the attack? Did you see the Drifter Swarm warp in and gut your fleet? Feel panic and fear as ships burned all around you. I imagine you remember at least that. 
Well, keep a lid on that for now. Recruit, my name is Fleet Commander Vadari, and from this point on, you will consider me your commanding officer. Now, we need to figure this situation out. I'm lifting your training restrictions and giving you access to your ships on board AI. This is Aura, a powerful ally. She'll help you get your ship moving. Greetings, Captain. I am Aura. I will assist you in commanding your vessel and navigating New Eden. My core logic library has been proven to increase the odds of survival by several orders of magnitude. But I am only capable of advising you. You must make decisions for yourself. Simulations have proven that situational awareness is key to survival. I will now demonstrate how to become aware and alert. Captain, if you close my... To orbit the view around your ship. To zoom in or out, scroll your mouse wheel up or down. Let's test basic navigation functions. According to my logs, a Titan-type capital ship in your fleet was destroyed. It would be useful to locate that ship's wreckage and start navigating towards it. A Titan should be the biggest shipwreck that you will be able to find. To set a course for your ship, double-click your mouse's left button anywhere in space. To stop your ship, you should click the highlighted stop button. Using these functions will help you explore the site. What in the name? Are you serious? My logs are saying you haven't even graduated from the Academy Flight School yet. <laughs> okay, we'll make this work even if you're all I've got. You're gonna have to start right now. My scans are showing more life signs near your location. Your convoy included transports with important research scientists. Given their work, if they were to be picked up by drifter scavengers, it would be a nightmare for the Republic. So check the wrecks for potential survivors. Captain, I have received faint signals from three survivors. To help determine the location of the signal, you should use the look and approach functions of your ship to get closer. Being close will allow you to see what's inside each wreck. To focus your camera on a piece of wreckage, right-click on the wreckage and select the Look At command. Look At is great for inspecting objects in space, but not for piloting. To reset your view, right-click in space and select Look At My Ship. Next, right-click on the wreckage and select the Approach command. We need to get close to the wreckage to extract the survivors. To transfer everything from their cargo hold to your own, move your mouse pointer over the wreckage and hold down the left mouse button. A radial menu will appear. Select Open Cargo to view the contents and then press the Loot All button. After you have clicked the Loot All button, you should close the inventory window using the X in the corner. It's best practice to close windows when you are finished using them. I'm receiving signals that indicate the next survivor is located in the highlighted wreckage. Right-click on the wreckage and select Approach.
transfer the next survivor to your ship, you should repeat the same steps as before. Move your mouse pointer over the wreckage and hold down the left mouse button. A radial menu will appear. Select Open Cargo to view the contents and then press the Loot All button. Excellent, Captain. My scanners indicate one more survivor. Approach the highlighted wreckage. You should now transfer the last survivors to your ship. Don't forget to close the inventory windows after you have finished. Professor Tannen from the Sisters of Eve research team. Thank you for saving my life. The attack was complete carnage. Thousands were killed. Our research on drifter strikes indicates they will likely return to this location to retrieve any survivors. And not for good. I believe the drifters want those survivors for invasive information extraction. It's very invasive. Such information is classified and of great value to the Empire, but since my survival depends on you, I am entrusting you with this. Recruit, I thought you'd be a cloud of hot gas by now, and instead here you are holding on to my top research scientist. I'll tell you something that strictly need to know. Those researchers you just rescued may have vital data on the source of the ongoing drifter invasion, a drifter hive. One of these hives inside Minmatara public space constitutes an existential threat. As such, it's now of the highest urgency to get you and your vessel home safely. Unfortunately, the drifters will want to carve your ship open, grab anyone still alive, and take them to their hive. We don't know what happens in them, but if you end up in one, you can forget about seeing your tribe again. You should get moving, but there's a problem. You probably didn't realize the Drifters have deployed some kind of warp bubble around your location. That stops you from warping away. Fortunately, they're not magicians and the field generator is close by. Locate it, destroy it, and get the hell out of there. Captain, in your ship's overview, you can see what your ship's scanners are picking up around you. Find your warp disruption generator in the ship's overview. Then, Hold down the left mouse button on the generator and click Approach on the radial menu. To lock your weapon system on the generator, hold down your left mouse button on the generator and select Lock Target on the radial menu.
Excellent. You are in the optimal position. I suggest you fire your primary weapon. Autopilot engaged. Autopilot disabled. No waypoint set. You should now stop your ship. That's one thorn in our side removed, but it's not over yet. I can see that the drifters deployed a second warp bubble. They must be very eager to add you to their trophy cabinet. Looks like you have to... Oh, wait. Okay. You'll have to pause that recruit. 
You are about to get engaged chance to prove you have a place with us, disabled. defending the tribes. You have a drift to seeker on grid, just dropped out of warp, and you need to take it out. Aura, our recruit needs a crash course on gunnery. They're no use to me dead. Captain, I need you to remain calm. You are flying a corvette fitted with a civilian class weapon system and a civilian afterburner for rapid maneuvering. This gives you a significant chance of success when pitted against a single seeker. Just like with the generator, to lock your weapon system on the seeker, hold down your left mouse button on it and select lock target from the radial menu. Please orbit and engage the circadian seeker now. Move your mouse over the seeker and hold down the left mouse button to open the radial menu. Then select the Orbit command. Now it's time to engage your weapons, Captain.
Don't forget to stop your ship. For a rookie, you're quite a surprise. Your first kill. This is the kind of combat experience the Republic needs you to have if you want to keep the tribe safe. All right, on to the backup warp disrupt. Oh, what? Wait. The Drifters are very serious about getting hold of you, recruit. Another seeker just warped in. Probably part of their search for survivors. Now select Log Target on the Seeker. Don't forget to orbit. It's time to engage. Fire your weapons. When you have defeated the Seeker, you should stop your ship. 